Hi, this is Sam from MW Videos 97, back again with another Halo Reach figure review. Uh, today I will be reviewing, again I'm not really sure, I think it's Series 1 this time, Emil. And as I said in the Carter review, he isn't, if you see him next to George, and you're in the UK, I'm not sure about America, because, well, I don't live there. Um, if they've got any trouble with getting George if they haven't already um, and you're wanting them but in the UK if you see him next to George either it depends really how much money you have either get them both or get George and then order him if uh, online when they get home but I'm just I would say that for every single one of them obviously apart from George when he comes, which should be our, which should be this week sometime, because I ordered him uh, of Forbidden Planet, which aren't really that trusted uh, by me really, because Carter took over about about two weeks actually. But anyway, back to Emil, which is the guy I'm reviewing. Again, I don't have his box because when I got him, I uh, put his box straight in the bin and went to check him out. But. Uh, down to weapons he comes with. He comes with his big, sorry, he's really, can't find it, it's behind the camera, big cool knife that uh, he can't fit actually in this because it's sealed off because if, he, if it was hollow it would be far too flimsy but if unless I've got him on display I just jam it up there. If I, so, in case, just so I don't lose it really. Um, he comes with his shotgun which I've got a problem with that I'll show you later. I uh, think, well actually, yeah this is definitely, sorry, drop this. Uh, that's, there's his grenade and I think these are smoke grenades. I call them smoke grenades because I think, because they look like smoke grenades to me but correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Um, so that's all of the weapons he's kitted out with really. Um, Again, the same as Carter, he, the height difference is just so big compared to the Halo Reach and compared to the Halo 3 figures because there's a Halo, there's the same one, there's the white recon and you can see just how big um, Emil is compared to the Halo 3 one. So if you have Halo 3 ones uh, at home and you're watching this, you're going to get ones a lot bigger. Well, I think they're quite a lot bigger. But compared to the Elite Miner, take that away. Um these have quite a lot of difficulty standing up. The Elite Miner series one on this whole thing. See you can't really see him see his head properly. So there you go. Compared to Emil he's quite big. So these are uh, they all see five inch on them. Uh, uh, some places the uh, elites see six inches, but the Halo three figures and the Halo Reach Spartans, both of them, say uh, just five inches. So don't know what's wrong there. But anyway, details. It's got quite a lot of battle damage, see, well battle wear, again I keep saying that, battle war, because he's not really damaged, he's, so that's his right shoulder, seek, uh, sorry, security, and he's got the knife attachment, so it's that, he's got on his right wrist, he's got the shells for his shotgun, chest he has more smoke grenades and two grenade launcher shells uh, he's got a grenade belt which you can get off actually but as you see and um, I'll take the white CKC just now see he's got the hole in there which you could put another belt in um, so then he's got his his left arm is operator which actually if it were me I would have I don't know about you you can comment you can comment on this after you've watched it, but I would rather have the security because it's bigger on my left arm unless I'm left handed. Because if I'm wanting more protect I'm wanting more protection on the 
uh, side that's actually facing the enemy because that's not really much protection to be honest, is it? So, I don't know, that's just me. Maybe he is left-handed, but I've just got him right-handed just now, because that's what I am. But anyway, uh, he's got two butt pegs at the back, as usual. Bring closer to see, there you go. He's got one peg hole in there. He's got a peg hole in his right, uh, his right thigh. Don't know, I don't think this can come off. I've not tried really, but I don't think at all it can come off. So if you get it, unless you see somebody else in another review taking it off, just don't take it off because don't try anyway because you'll end up breaking it. Um, he's got his EVA with attachment accessory thing helmet, and he's obviously got the the ghost pattern on it because well skeleton ghost thing. Uh, he's got caution marks on each side of his, on both of his feet, or toe joints, don't know why. Uh, he's got quite a lot of battle wear here, around here, sorry if it's a wee bit grainy, it's just my camera. Um, let's see, no, that just does digital zoom. But anyway, you can see he's got quite a lot of battle wear around there, so it's got like paint scratch basically. So, um... Again, if you don't, if you're in the UK or in general, and you don't find George next to them, definitely buy this guy. I'm saying that for everyone because I couldn't find Carter for the life of me in the shop. So just, he is such a cool figure and he'll make a great addition to your collection. Or if you're just starting, he's a great place to start. So this has been Sam from MW Videos 97. Goodbye.